Hi guys, how you all are? I hope you all are fine. So in today's session, we will be talking about the mathematical terms profit and loss. So are you all ready? Yes. So let's set off and explore more about profit and loss. Introduction to profit and loss. Let us meet Rishi. He is reading the newspaper. While reading, he comes across the terms profit and loss whose meaning he is not able to understand. He also observes that the film that released last week made a huge profit on the very first day itself. The another news says a company shut down because of a heavy loss. Have you heard of the terms profit and loss? If you don't know, let us learn about it in today's class. Introduction to cost price and selling price. Towards our Rishi's query, let us assume a situation where a shopkeeper is about to arrange his shop before the customers arrive. The shopkeeper has bought t-shirts for rupees 400 each, bags for rupees 300 each and goggles for rupees 600 each. Cost price We buy goods from the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper gets these goods from wholesale dealers or from factories where they are manufactured. The price at which a shopkeeper buys an article is called the cost price. It is abbreviated as CP. Here the shopkeeper buys the red t-shirt for rupees 400. So the cost price of the red t-shirt is rupees 400. And the Shopkeeper buys the bag for rupees 300. So the cost price of the bag is rupees 300. The goggles is bought by the shopkeeper for rupees 600. And the cost price of it is rupees 600. Very good. Overhead expenses. Besides the cost price, sometimes the shopkeeper has to pay additional charges for transport, labor, etc. These are called overheads. They are also known as overhead expenses or overhead charges. These charges are always added to the cost price. Now, the shopkeeper wants to sell the t-shirts for rupees 450 each the bags for rupees 400 each and the goggles for rupees 750 each. Meanwhile, a customer walks in and acquires about the price of the t-shirt. The shopkeeper tells that he is selling it for rupees 450. Selling price the price at which a shopkeeper sells an article is called the selling price. It is abbreviated as SP. The cost price of the t-shirt is rupees 400 and the selling price of the same red t-shirt is rupees 450. The cost price of the bag is rupees 300 and the selling price of it is rupees 400. The cost price of the goggles is rupees 600 and the selling price of it is rupees 750. A while later, another customer walks in. She wants to buy the goggles. The shopkeeper tells her that the goggles cost rupees 750. Here, the shopkeeper bought the goggles for rupees 600 each and sold it for rupees 750 each on it. This means that he earned rupees 150 on it. Profit 
the gain in money is called profit. Whenever the selling price is greater than the cost price, we earn a profit. Profit is equal to SP minus CP. As you see, the cost price of the t-shirt is rupees 400. The selling price of it is rupees 450. The profit is equal to SP minus CP. That is 450 minus 400 which is equal to rupees 50 and the cost price of the goggles as you see is rupees 600 and the selling price of it is rupees 750 so the profit is equal to sp minus cp that is equal to 750 minus 600 that is equal to rupees 150 now another customer walks in she wants to buy the bag the shopkeeper tells that it will cost her rupees 400 but due to some defect the shopkeeper has to sell it for rupees 250. Here the shopkeeper bought this bag for rupees 300 and sold it for rupees 250. This means that he obtained a loss of rupees 50 on it. Loss. Money lost in selling is called as a loss. Whenever the cost price is greater than the selling price, we incur loss. Loss is equal to CP minus SP. Here, the cost price of the bag is rupees 300 and the selling price of it is equal to rupees 250 so loss formula is equal to cp minus sp that is equal to rupees 300 minus rupees 250 so loss is equal to rupees 50 how to find selling price when cost price and profit of an article are known solution SP is equal to CP plus profit. How to find selling price when cost price and loss of an article are known? Yes, solution SP is equal to CP minus loss. How to find cost price when selling price and profit of an article are known? Solution CP is equal to SP minus profit. How to find cost price when selling price and loss of an article are known? CP solution. CP is equal to SP plus loss. Try this out. Fill in the blanks. Try to solve this everybody. Now, as the answers have come, you can rectify whether your answers and the correct answers are correct. Just correct them and rectify. If all are correct, very good. Let's move on to the next step. Now, if the shopkeeper wants to compare the profit and loss, suffered in all the items how will he do it yes he will do it by finding out the proportion of his the profit and loss that is he will find out the percentage of profit and loss so now we are going to learn about profit and loss percentages percent is nothing but a percentage okay now Profit percentage. The formula is given here. Profit divided by CP into 100. Now, loss percentage. Loss by CP into 100 is its formula. There is no chances if the denominator divided by is always CP and it will never come as SP. Practice. 
practice time. First question. A man gained Rs. 2,900 on a motorcycle which he sold for Rs. 45,000. Find his cost price. Second question. Mr. Smith bought a fridge for Rs. 30,000 and after 2 years he sold it for Rs. 25,000. Find the profit or loss percentage he earned. Once the answers have come, you can rectify. Yeah, now both the answers have come, so you can rectify your answers. Now let us have a small recap on what we learnt in today's session. What is the cost price and its standard form? What is the selling price and its standard form? We learn how to tell what is profit and what is the formula for profit. What is loss and its formula. Why and how to use profit and loss percentages. Thank you all. Enjoy learning. So, in today's session, I didn't give much word problems, story sums. So, in next video, definitely, in next max video, definitely, I'll upload some sums. 10 to 20 sums, I will put with its solutions. Okay. Till that, farewell and keep enjoying learning. With Tejas Education and Learning. Thank you all.